crash in South St. Louis County claimed the life of a 15 year old girl and left neighbors in disbelief as the speeding car came within feet of their homes. Thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Five on your side's Ryan Henson reports from Sappington, where neighbors say deadly crashes along that stretch of Gravois are becoming way too common. So I was literally in my living room and I heard somebody like um, pumping the brakes where you hear tires squealing. And you know, when you hear those things, you'd be like, okay, that's just somebody breaking hard. But all of a sudden I heard a loud boom. So when I heard a loud boom, you heard two, two zapping noise, go like zzz, zzz, and then like an explosion went off. Deshaun Scott ran outside to offer help after a violent crash near his home. But, but yeah, the utility pole was split in half and the transformer was exploded. Sadly, the single vehicle crash at Gravoy and Winter Night Lane Tuesday night claimed the life of a 15 year old girl. There were three other people in the car, all who went to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Neighbors say this street was lined with folks coming out of their house, also hearing the noises and concerned about the safety of the people in the car. Witnesses say the car was going extremely fast, possibly upwards of 100 miles an hour. And Scott, who has only lived there for a few weeks, says speeding is definitely a problem. I see people speeding in the street a lot, but when I first moved here, I was trying to figure out why would they, they're always police officers. Because when I'm driving out, leaving my um, place, you see police officers like hiding in different locations and stuff, and you see that all the time. Ryan Henson, five on your side. Just minutes ago, St. Louis County Police released the name of the victim, 15-year-old Alexi Hawkins from South St. Louis County. The driver, Christopher Dedios, has been charged with second-degree murder and resisting arrest. A St. Louis County police officer did try to stop the vehicle, we're told, but says the vehicle was going too fast and didn't chase it.